Buckle up. It's time to get driven to love. What's up? It's your boy Ray J right here in the love taxi. And yeah, I know I make this look easy, but what you guys at home don't know is that making driven to love is a massive operation. Let me break it down for you. First off, we got my tricked out love taxi, right? And then you got me, man in the wheel, of course. And I also have my lovely producer right here, Ride Shotgun. What's up, Lisa? How you feeling? All right. Now, this love taxi is a fully functional mobile studio. I mean, we got some of the craziest cameras, 11 high def cameras rigged in here. Come on, let's check it out. I mean, this thing has everything. Cameras here, cameras there. And you know I love cameras. And check this out. We also have some of the most sophisticated sound equipment on the market. What's up, Craig? Man, we making a real show. And you know when I get cold, I got Jess to hook me up with the jacket because it is New York City, so we don't know how the weather gonna go. It could be sunny, it could be stormy, we don't know. But it doesn't stop there. The Love Taxi is just one of five cars that make up the Driven to Love production. I mean, when we roll through the city of New York, it's like the president is in town or something. We got the guy van in front of us, helping me weave in and out of traffic through some of the most busiest streets in the world. Also, one lucky dater can find love. And then we have the command post. Now this is where we have the monitors, we have the executive producers, and the network reps, and then the tech crew. Gotta get a little bit of makeup. Appreciate that, Jody. These are the guys that helped me bring this show together. The unsung heroes. What's up, Dean? I mean, we making a show. And then there's another van. And that's where we have all the craft service stuff, the drinks, the food. And of course, I gotta stay hydrated. And my favorite part, my favorite vehicle, drum roll please, my 1983 Chevy Chase RV. I mean, we season one, so we gotta crawl before we ball. But this is where I come and I relax and I get my mind right when I get that 30 minute break for lunch. And of course, thank you, Jess. Sir? Listen, it's hard work trying to help people find love. Somebody's gotta do it. 